Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. There are two people walking right past the window as I am talking to myself on the camera. Today is Saturday. It is the first Saturday after the first week of testing. And I decided to pop by to film this intro video, but also I had to pick up a few things. Um, this is so embarrassing. I hope they don't come back because this looks really strange to people who don't know what you're doing. But anyway, um, I decided to kind of give you a run through of what you're going to be seeing in the rest of the video, which are the vlogs. Okay, so my vlogs didn't really come out as intended because I really kind of underestimated how stressful the first week of testing was going to be. Now, I'm going to say, like, you'll notice in my video that I'm very positive and I say that it was very smooth, and it was, but there's just something about test week that just kind of gives you this, like, stressful and anxious kind of a feeling, and, you know, you, you feel for the students and you feel for you. Your schedules are, are different, and you definitely have to be flexible. Um, so, anyway, that's all to say that this is why I decided to kind of pop in and just walk you through some of the things that I wasn't able to cover in my vlogs. Um, one of the things that I'm going to cover are the products that I mentioned in my test prep video. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link for you down below. But in it, I mentioned two products that you can find in my TPT store. And I wanted to show you that I'm not just talking up the products. Um, I actually do use them and I have used them in the past. Um, and they're very simple, very basic, but I think that they're very effective and it really helps students and promotes or encourages um, positive testing behaviors. So. One of the products that I mentioned in the test prep video was this goal setting sheet that I created. And it looks like this. So the students could choose from one of the goals. They could choose one or more. I wouldn't necessarily have them choose more than two, but you don't want to overwhelm them with a lot of goals. So this student decided to circle stay focused, which I thought was really good for her. And she said, I will achieve this goal by not talking to well, she wrote, not talk to nobody and don't go in desk to play with something. And she like really nailed it because she knows that's exactly what she does during a regular school day. And she knows, you know, that during testing time, you're not allowed to do that. And that was something that she was going to work on. And she did such a fantastic job. One of the things that I really like is that um, my students are very well versed in creating a goal. So I was able to really make this an independent task. I really didn't coach them or prompt them into what what goals I thought they should work on they chose their own and I thought that they did such a good job with it and the students really like held themselves accountable accountable to those goals um, this student I love this little girl she is amazing so this is what she wrote she um, first of all she circled other she said my goal is to reread the question and she said I will achieve this goal by and then she wrote I want to read my question because if I get an answer wrong it's because I did not read the question or read the answer she says um, so I unfortunately she didn't get to test with me she receives accommodations so she had to step out for the test um, but this is like you could tell that they actually folded it and they put it in their pocket and took it with them um, when they left, actually she did. She stayed with me and that's how I knew that she's really stuck to her goal. So I really love this product. I thought that it was a very good idea for them. The other product that I mentioned that I did use during the test was this observation capture sheet. And it looks like this. Now this in no way captures any information about the test itself. The test questions, the answers, nothing. This is just a very generic like behavior, behavioral observations. Um, recording sheet and I'll tell you why I'm really glad I decided to use this because um, I wrote down information such as this one student had their head down throughout the test literally was slouched over or had their head down and the only time they decided to like look up was to read the question and go eeny meeny miny mo boom that's the answer and you could tell because they didn't even use their smart paper. So, and, and this was a student who was in my actual homeroom. So what I ended up talk, talking to him about was um, his goals. So we've revisited his goals and that's one of the things that I checked off that we would do. Um, this other student finished his test in 20 minutes and then he didn't use his smart paper at all. So I knew that that was a talking point for his homeroom teacher um, because he wasn't testing with her. He came into my room. So, that observation capture sheet was very helpful. And now here's the reason why I'm glad we used it because this year we decided to do something new. 
um, to encourage like or as a school-wide incentive we decided to do this like recording sheet and it basically um, requires the students to use their scratch paper use their time wisely attendance and have the right mindset if they receive this set amount of points they can earn a popsicle at the end of the testing block which is in two weeks from now so that's kind of why I'm glad I had the observation capture sheet so that I could remember you know anything um, that would help me rec record what I needed to on this paper today is Sunday evening and you should see my bed I have a little workstation going on testing starts this week for us it's the third week in May um, it actually started last week or maybe the week before but I think it was last week um, each grade level is starting at a different time um, but we're gonna be testing all month off and on I decided that I would vlog and kind of take you on our journey and just kind of show you what kinds of things I do with my students and how I prepare my students for testing. I will leave a link down below to my um, test prep video that I posted a few weeks back. So let me show you what I'm working on. This is my workstation. These I showed in my test prep video. I have a link as to where you can find them. These are from Math Mojo. I have the number two pencils that I am using for this um, first little a goodie that I'm going to be doing. So my students will get this on day one. It says you are a sharp student and I just thought about punching holes and sliding a pencil right through it on the back. I wrote a different note on each one. So one of them says you got this. Another one, don't give up. You can do it. So I have like eight different messages um, on the pencils. So anyway, I am getting ready to put them all in this bag and take them to school so that I can have them. And I'll probably work on those tomorrow or something like that. Good morning. So a little update. I was off to a late start and I say that because yesterday night I vlogged about how I was preparing these cute little pencil things with my coupons. And if I haven't showed you that now, I'll probably show it to you right after this. But um, I thought testing was going to start on Tuesday. Turns out we test today. So today's Monday morning, and um, that's why I'm in a rush. I mean, really, I made it to Maryland on time. Like, I'm sorry, not on time. Ahead of time, it's 8.24, and I don't really have to be at work until another 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Um, but anyway, I had to stop by the store and get Smarties. Apparently none of my teammates could find Smarties and I caught ahead to CVS near the school. Turns out they had just three bags. Hopefully that'll be enough for all the third graders in our team. If not, we'll just figure out what to do. I'm still okay with time, which means that I have time to do a couple of things on my to-do list for the morning and I will show you what I'm talking about as soon as I get to work. I came in this morning with some time to spare. I came in five minutes before check-in time. But literally, the moment I came in, I was just like doing things off of my to-do list. And then up there, I have a huge number line. I had one, I should say. And I asked my teammates to come in and just inspect my room and make sure that everything that would have been a testing violation was out of or was hidden. And turns out I forgot the time num or the timeline, the number line. So I had to do that in addition to everything else I wanted to do. Um, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. So this is a morning routine flip chart that I have. I actually changed it up because we have park. It actually looks like this. Let me show you. So the the original one looks like this, and I adapted this from uh, Teach, Create, Motivate, who posted hers on Instagram. So I just changed mine to fit, you know, my students' needs. And for testing, we use this one. And if you notice, the things on the to-do list are few unpack, eat breakfast, read and relax because our test started first thing this morning and it was crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I had a lot of things done ahead of time and I just had a few things on my to-do list to do, especially because I was out on Friday, but testing day is always just crazy. I don't think you can ever be prepared. There's always something. And like I said, for me, it was that darn number line I had to bring down what was the other thing? Oh yeah, and then the pencils, the cute little pencils thing I made. Here, let me show you. Well, he kind of, it's supposed to look like this on the pencil. But anyway, um, I was short by two. Uh, so two of my students didn't have one and I had to make one on the fly. 
So anyway, overall it was a productive testing morning. But anyway, I just had my lunch and I'm about to get my students in about 10 minutes. We have a very short afternoon. I haven't had one of these afternoons in forever. So that's what I like about the testing schedule is that my students eat and have recess later. So we don't have like a huge block in the afternoon with just the students, which can drive me crazy sometimes. Today's was this one. So this entitles them to a treat. They don't actually have to turn it in, um, but it says, good luck, smarty pants. And this is what I was talking about early this morning. I was able to go purchase these. Thankfully, our local CVS had that because my teammates were having a hard time finding it in their stores. So anyway, with that said, I will talk to you guys later. Today is day two of testing and I wanted to do a little bit of a check-in with you. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to close out yesterday's vlog because things happened. My coworker walked in and then I had to go pick up the kids right after. And then lately I haven't been staying after school because of traffic. It's getting so much worse. For those of you who don't know, I commute between Virginia and Maryland. I live in Virginia and work in Maryland. So 495, if you're familiar with it, is awful right now and it's not getting any better, but thankfully it's the end of the year so I don't have much longer to put up with it um, until I get a big break. So as a result, I've been leaving early and today I wasn't able to vlog after school. I wasn't even able to pick up the camera at all. I will say that um, it was very smooth today. It's day two. Day one is always crazy. Like if I were to compare both days, day one is so hectic because it's the first day and as a teacher, you're just like running around like a chicken with its head cut off. And then your kids are literally the chicklets, like following you everywhere. Thankfully at our school, we had a mock test day. So basically we role played what testing day would look like. So hopefully it wasn't a surprise or shock to any of the students. Like, well, what are we doing today um, for the first day of testing? Um, because we were able to have students go to the rooms where they were going to be testing. So the kids knew where they were going and the teachers knew who was coming to them. Like if I was going to have um, students from another teacher come into my room for testing purposes, then I was aware of who that was. I mean, aside from it already being like on a class roster list, um, we could like physically see who the, you know, we could see what the child looked like and, you know, we could, you know, meet each other before then. We run, we went over some slides um, to talk about what testing day would look like and, you know, what it is to begin with. Um, and it was very quick, but I feel like it helped make yesterday so much smoother. Today, testing day two, um, we ended up starting 10 minutes earlier than yesterday, which is a sign of having done this already. So I have a feeling that by Thursday, we'll have everything down and it'll be even smoother, fingers crossed. Um, and then, yeah, so Wednesday, tomorrow, we're gonna have a break. We'll be testing Thursday and Friday, and then two days the following week, and then two days, two weeks from now. So that'll take us all the way up until June. If you guys are already like, this is your last day of school, you're so lucky, because I know some of you guys are finishing early, um, but we're teaching well until like the middle of Jan June, I should say. I was gonna say January. Um, it's been a long day, so please forgive me. Today, we ended up giving away the Blow the Test Away coupon um, at this point the kids are now guessing what the treat is going to be and they guessed right they knew it was going to be blow pops um, from the moment they got the ticket and they're very excited about these coupons and I'm glad that we're doing this because it puts a positive spin on something that can be very stressful and very anxiety ridden um, testing isn't fun and I don't know one kid who's actually enjoying the process I know that excuse me I know that we talk a lot about engaging the students and making fun learning, but then we have to sit them down for a stretch at a time, like an hour or more, to answer questions on a test that personally I feel is irrelevant and very unrealistic. But unfortunately, it's law of the land and we have to do it. So, you know, we wanted to make it a positive experience for them. I'm going to go ahead and leave this right here and then I will pick up the camera again on Thursday when we do day three of testing. Good morning, today is Thursday, May 18th, and today is day three of testing, so I am off to a very early start. Today our principal arrived, she was out for a long time due to health reasons, but we're going to be welcoming her in, and we're gonna do like a clap in, she's gonna walk around the school, and I have to go in earlier because I plan on decorating my door. It's kind of half done, but I do have to put up 
um, part of the sign that I was going to put up. So I have to do that. I have to get some copies done. Do I need the copies for this morning? Well, no, this morning we're taking our test, but, um, I'm just trying to remember. Oh yeah, that's for writing in the afternoon. Sorry guys. I'm like kind of thinking out loud, but anyway, I'm going to get back to you as soon as I get to school and then I'll walk you through what I plan on doing this morning. I made it and I'm super early there was really no traffic today so that's a good thing anyway I'm gonna get my morning stuff started and then I will get back to you about what I plan on doing this morning before the test this is what the flip chart looks like as soon as the students walk in they can just do that quickly and then this is what we have to put up um, according to our test booklet so um, it gives them a start time and then an end time. The test is only 60 minutes long, so it's really not that bad. But I worry for next week because they're taking the language arts, which is always longer. I want to say it's about 90 minutes. This is the one that we gave our students day two of testing. It says blow away the test, and they figured out that they were going to be getting blow pops. Isn't this cute? Um, so they really love it. Today's is going to be, you are officially a terrific test taker. Um, can you guess what the kids are going to be getting? Really easy, right? They're going to be getting goldfish. Um, we found little baggies. Let me show you. These are really cute. Um, Pre-packaged goldfish baggies. So they're going to be getting this after the test. Testing day three whoops, was successful. Um, we ended up starting on time. Um, and then after the test was over, we waited um, for the other students to trickle in and in the meantime I just kind of let them um, practice their typing on the Chromebook. So now we're going to go ahead and do regular instruction for the rest of the afternoon which is about an hour and 45 minutes. All right I am ready to head out but I did want to show you something really cute. It's a project that my student worked on, one of my students worked on. Um, for the Velveteen Rabbit. We assigned our students a huge reading take home project and this one turned out so adorable. I really love that he put this little 3D bunny on it. It's so cute. And then that's not all. Outside he put this and on the other side he you know he got really creative with how he displayed his information. Isn't that cute? Also, I wanted to talk a little bit about my shirt. It says, this teacher loves her turps. This is my school's mascot. I graduated from the University of Maryland. So we all had to take, we had to take, we all had to wear red because our principal came back from a very long health break. Um, but let me just say it was really hard to scrounge around for this red shirt. It's not a popular color in my closet, but anyways, I found it, I wore it, and I was very happy and prideful. Prideful? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, today is Friday. Today is the last day of the math state test, and that concludes one batch of tests. For third grade, we have about two weeks more of testing. I'm glad it's Friday. I feel like testing week has been one of the longest weeks. And I'm exhausted. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead, get to work, and then I will talk to you when I get there. Okay, so I made it into work, and I just wanted to quickly pop in and show you today's coupon. It says, crunch some numbers today. Can you guess what today's treat will be? If you guessed crunch, you are right. So the kids are going to be so excited about this because they love chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate, right? If I stress how excited I am that it's Friday, I'm ex exhausted. Like, I have my glasses on. My eyes feel tired, I feel tired, testing sucks, but anyway, it's almost over. Okay, so I'm back home now, it is Friday evening, and I quickly wanted to recap um, how the week went. Day one, you noticed that it was the, the first day of testing um, for my third grade students, and everything went pretty good overall. I really feel like the testing coordinator at our school did such a great job pre-planning everything and having all the materials ready. So I think that that definitely contributed to why testing was successful, I guess, in the logistical part. 
um, it was just really heart wrenching. Like if I'm talking about the test now, I want to say that it was just so heart wrenching, kind of seeing the students like really frustrated and you know they're kind of confused by the questions. I mean, I know that you know we cover the curriculum and we go above and beyond to make sure that students you know can answer critical thinking questions. Um, but you just don't know what to expect with this kind of a test. It's very unrealistic, and I don't think that it's a good measure of student achievement. That's just my opinion. I know that there are pros and cons and arguments regarding state testing. Honestly, I feel that by the end of the week, the students were done and they were so over this test. And they were, a Friday morning, they came into my classroom like, do we have to take another test? And I was like, yes, you do. You have one more for math today. I mean, I would tell them every single day, but they, I guess they just, they must have asked, hoping that I would say no eventually. I'm gonna still keep encouraging them and you know, encouraging them to do their best and to stay positive. The testing vlog ends here. It's Friday. We survived the first week of testing. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please comment down below and don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'm also on Instagram and I have a TPT store. I'll have all the links down below so that you can check them out. Just click on show more.